you know, you hear and see things on TV, but now you can right in front of you, hear it, see it, touch it, hear their story. I guess something that my mom always told me comes back into my mind often. And she always said that, you know, the one constant in life is change. And when we're dealing with a virus that is brand new, right? It's a novel coronavirus, something that we've never dealt with before. We're learning new things about the virus every day, how it spreads, how we can treat our patients and how we can keep each other safe. Since our inception in 1898, this community has come to Atlanticare in search of health, healing, and ultimately hope. Together, we acknowledge your fears and will continue to fight for you and your loved ones. No matter the challenge at hand, our essential frontline workers have continued Atlanticare's legacy of caring for this region. Together, we are resilient. Together, we persevere. Together, we keep this community safe. Throughout this whole time, I've been reminded day in and day out of how resilient people can be. I have two young boys, five and six years old, and uh, my husband that I live with. My absolute biggest fear is, is bringing this home to them. I take care of my mom who's compromised, so it would be changing at work to get in my car, going home, going into my garage, undressing there, immediately um, putting all my stuff in the laundry. I kind of stayed away from her as much as I could because it was like the fear of the unknown. I feel like I just isolated myself from everything. You know, we had a great amount of people that did well and thankfully, you know, we were glad to see them go home. But for the ones that didn't go home, I hope their family members know how much we try to be their family members. We loved them like they were our own. And, you know, we held their hands and we tried to make their passing as as easy as possible. During this time, uh, my 32 years of being here, this has been the biggest challenge I've ever had. A lot of people don't know that, you know, six feet apart in physical therapy really isn't an, <laughs> an option. It's not possible. We had to really be up close and personal with our patients. So, you know, maintaining a distance and limiting our exposure in the room really wasn't an option. We are going into people's homes, people's businesses. It's an unpredicted, uncontrolled environment. We chose this profession for a reason. We chose to do what we do, and we determined to do it the best. We invite you to celebrate those who are on the front lines at Atlanticare, making a difference each and every day as part of our pandemic response. Together, this team ensures that our legacy of health, healing, and hope continues. Together, we deliver the healing necessary to face another hour, day, and year. Please, wear your mask. Remember, always wash your hands. I think the camaraderie that we show in this facility and as a community and how we've risen to the challenge gives us hope to continue to persevere in the future. Okay, I will say this. Not one of us, not any nurse or any respiratory therapist gets into this field to be thanked. So our thanks is when the patient gets better or we comfort the family, or we comfort them through their ultimate passing, and that is our thanks. Given the circumstances, it might seem we have a long way to go, but we know that together, with you by our side, health, healing, and hope springs eternal. Join us today by making a gift in honor and celebration of our hardworking heroes who, despite hardship and health risks, continue to carry out their duties during the COVID-19 pandemic. Together, we will prevail through this ongoing pandemic. Stay safe.